found a box full of IDs, birth certificates, more checks. We found tons and tons of treasury checks. Only on two tonight, a battle between a property owner and a tenant suspected of leasing a home using a stolen identity. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. That homeowner and realtor are now hoping law enforcement will take this case seriously after making quite the discovery inside that home today. This happened in the Everett Point neighborhood in northwest Harris County, and that is where we find KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry tonight. We were the only station there as this all unraveled. Bryce? Yeah, Daniela and Keith, that realtor reached out to me overnight after seeing a story from a couple weeks ago about a woman arrested for trying to rent several homes using a stolen identity. He said the circumstances in his situation were pretty similar, and after getting what he called the runaround from law enforcement, he wanted some help. Tonight, he tells me the woman who rented his client's home did so using a stolen identity from a woman who has not even lived in Texas for a decade. Tonight, the locks are changed at this rental home on Vander Rock Drive, just about two weeks after a new tenant moved in. Credit came clean, background came clean, eviction came clean, criminal record came clean. Everything was clean. The realtor who asked us to hide his identity said he got suspicious after a move-in check came back as counterfeit and forged. We located the real person that lives outside of Texas with her social, her ID. Um, she's identified all the credit hits. The tenant used a real Texas ID with a different picture on it, the realtor says. So he called the Harris County Sheriff's Office Monday. Deputies responded, but a woman staying there had already left before a man took off in a ride share. Inside the home, the owner's family found stacks of boxes from designer brands, bank, insurance, and passport cards with different names and tens of thousands of dollars in checks with other names. Oh, look, more blank checks. These are cashier's checks. These are On the kitchen counter, this printer with more blank check paper. I was shocked. More and more people are doing it. It's getting a little bit more sophisticated. And, you know, you got to use technology as best as you can to stay in front of it. Thomas Moton is talking about fraud. He's chair of the Houston Association of Realtors, which now offers this free app to members to research identity, financial, property, and criminal records of potential clients. Could it have stopped it? Maybe, maybe not, but it definitely would have uh, created a lot more red flags. As the locks got changed, the suspected fraudulent renter called this moving company to pick up her stuff and take it to a storage unit. But no luck there. Family of the property owner told the crew to take it up with law enforcement. I tried to text and call her, but got no answer. The system's broke and it protects the criminals right now. The realtor says he did due diligence, but the renter still made it through the process, and he hopes law enforcement will dig deep on the investigation. And I spoke with the Harris County Sheriff's Office this afternoon. They did confirm that deputies were called to this neighborhood and that this case will be investigated by the Financial Crimes Unit. We will be sure to keep you updated on how all of this develops. We're live in Northwest Harris County. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bryce, thank you.